What's up, hackers, and pentesters the shadow brokers here back again with a very useful reconnaissance tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the basics of Maltego and use it to gather public information about our target. Maltego was created by Paterva as an open source intelligence and graphical link analysis data mining application, with the ability to query and gather information from various sources on the internet and present data in easy to read graph. The graph demonstrate the relationship between each entity and the target. Maltego comes pre-installed in Kali Linux but it is not the full version. You can say it is a trial version or a community version. It has a paid version and it gives more search options and gives a much better result. Let's see how to use it. To get started, you need a user account to access the functions and features of Maltego. So go to www.maltego.com, and then scroll all the way down and click on Register for Community Edition. A registration form will be presented. Now fill in the blanks with appropriate details and click on Register to create a user account. After creating the user account, please ensure that you verify your email address prior to logging in. Once this step has been completed, head back to your Kali Linux desktop. Now open the Maltego tool by clicking on Applications, Information Gathering, Maltego. Once the application opens, click on Maltego CE free to configure and run the Community Edition of Maltego. Next, you should be presented with the Maltego Configuration Wizard. Ensure that you log in using the same user account you created previously on the Maltego website and click Next. Then read and follow the instructions that appear in the next few steps of the configuration wizard. You can leave everything in the default state and click next until the process ends. Once the configuration window closes, the general Maltego interface is displayed. On the start page, there are many transform sets that can be added to Maltego. A transform is an open source resource that Maltego can query for information. Adding transforms is optional, so you can simply skip this. To begin gathering information on a target organization, we must first open a new graph. To do this, click on the Maltego icon in the top left corner, and then click on New. Once a new graph has been created, you'll see various types of entities on the left, while, on the right hand side, you'll see Overview, Detail View, and Property View. In case if you want to know about a domain of a company, click and drag the domain entity to the center of the graph. By default, paterva.com will appear as the target domain. Let's change the domain value to something else. On the left-hand side of the interface, click on Property View. You will be able to edit the value in the Domain Name field. Once the domain name has changed, we can proceed and resolve the website URL for the domain. Right-click on the domain entity, click on All Transforms, and select to Website Quick Lookup. This transform will simply discover the website address and display the relationship. Next, if you want to obtain the IP address of the website address. Just right-click on the website address, go to All Transforms and select, To IP Address, DNS. It will display the IP address that was resolved for www.google.com. Please note that this is one of many IP addresses that are used for the www.google.com URL. Let's take this phase even further. How about discovering the top-level domains that are a part of the google.com domain? To complete this task, we begin by right-clicking on the domain entity and selecting, to domain, find other TLDs. Once the transform has been completed, Maltego will present the information in a tree-like structure on the graph plane, as shown here. Now, how about gathering the email addresses of contacts who are registered to a domain? Well, right-click on the IP address entity, go to All Transforms and select, To Email Address, from Hoy's Info. If there are any email addresses, they will be displayed. Furthermore, we can attempt to obtain the name servers for the domain. Just right-click on the domain entity, go to All Transforms and click on, to DNS Name NS, Name Server. It will display all the name servers for the domain. Now, you have a better idea of the functions of Maltego and how to navigate the various transforms. 
A nice feature of Maltego is the relationship mapping on the graph to help you analyze information and entities. Having completed this video, you are now familiar with using Maltego to gather information. In the next video, we will use a Python-based tool to assist us in passive information gathering. Otherwise, that's all we have for today's video. If you have any questions or problems, comment down below. And if you have any idea for future videos send me a message on Twitter. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.